What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Checked Out from Sauce Leopard. From Sauce Leopard. Yeah, uh, Return of Sauce Leopard. Return of Sauce Leopard, one of our favorites. I'd say one of our favorites. And one of our, and, you know, just a cool our, company. One of our with. favorites from Colorado, from yeah. Denver. Um, the owner's been really cool and just like to support not only Colorado products, but he's a rad guy in the hot sauce industry skate industry music industry so he does all the things you know yeah yeah um so yeah uh this is a special edition one right yeah, they yeah. made for uh heat this description so I, I i bought this on a whim i just saw it on instagram one day i'm like you know he's been cool to us i'm gonna buy it try it out and uh didn't tell him i was ordering it and he threw a note in there that says thanks dude hope all is well this sauce is a funky one Made for the November 23 Heatness subscription box. Not sure if we'll remake it anytime soon or not. It's sold out on the website right now. So who knows if they'll make it again or not. But I'm a horseradish fan. There's not a ton of horseradish hot sauces out there. So I was like, you know, yeah, gotta yeah. get it. And yeah, uh, so or it might be a few months late to the game. But uh, if it sounds good um, to you guys. Just start bugging them. Say, hey, we saw the Scoville Engineers review. You guys should make another batch of this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, just to throw another piece of info out there, there's a pro skater from Denver named David Reyes, who is my favorite Colorado skateboarder ever, who I don't know if Sean knows him or not. I think he does. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Sean sent him a box of sauces that he promoted one day on his, on his Instagram. So... Shout out to David Reyes, too. I love your skateboarding. And I'm going to tag you <laughs> in this post. And I'm wearing a 401 shirt, so hopefully you'll appreciate that. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, should we get into it? Let's do it. All right, guys. Well, the ingredient list on this one is cucumber, distilled vinegar, water, jalapeno peppers, pineapple, onion, habanero peppers, sugar, horseradish root, Lime juice, olive oil, salt, spicy brown mustard, black pepper, and basil. Interesting, wow. huh? Wow. I'm like, this could go yeah. in many directions. And Okay, I, I guess maybe I don't pay enough attention to ingredient lists, and I'm not a chef like you, but uh, is there a difference between horseradish and horseradish root? Well, Really, horseradish, if it's real horseradish, it's just the root. Okay. As far as I understand. Um, but having said that, wasabi powder mm -hmm. is actually horseradish. Not horseradish. So, root. like, I mean, okay. most sushi restaurants, especially in America, that have wasabi, it's not fresh. It's not fresh wasabi root because that shit's like $180 a pound. Gotcha. And it would take, I mean, you'd be spending tens of thousands of dollars every week just to give people wasabi. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, obviously that's not what people do. But, um, so yeah, like the, the wasabi you get at sushi restaurants is probably going to be horseradish. So, but the flavors are very similar. No one cares. That is crazy. But horseradish root is so much better. Yeah, there's a lot of. A lot of smells going on there. Yeah. You know what else I like? Like the color. The color of that. Yeah. I haven't quite seen a sauce that color. I feel like. Dude, just I won't tell we taste it, but or but just after smelling it, I already know how I want to use this sauce, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just by the smell. It reminds me of something. All right. Cheers. Whoa. Holy cow. Super citrus forward. Definitely get that pineapple and cucumber. Um, and then I feel like I'm starting to get some of that jalapeno 
onion horseradish. Um, nice. And then a little bit of that mustard going on. Uh, let's go back in. There's a that lot going on. very unique. Whoa. That may um, be unlike... That may be unlike any sauce I've ever tried. I don't know. Cheers. Wow. All right. Um, not terribly hot. Uh, I got maybe maybe a little something going on on the top of my tongue. Um, I think they call it. I don't know. Looks like a middle, like a five out of ten heat. That is a flavor explosion. I feel like though, there's so much going on there. Not in a bad way. Yeah. To me. Um. Uh, well, my first thought when I smelled it, and it might be a little too runny for this now that I've tried it, um, but was to use this to make a Chicago dog. Okay. See, um, my mind was going towards hot dog. I just didn't have like. Yeah, like it, cause it. I don't know. It's got that like citrus and the pepper and whatnot. You know, like you think about a Chicago dog with the you know the pickle down the side. There's your cucumber with the vinegar right, and whatnot, right, yeah. with some hot peppers on there. Um, plus that little bit of um, like spicy brown mustard in the mm -hmm. sauce yeah. kind of screams a hot dog to me. So yeah, just hot I, dog brought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is this is your relish, but this is it has yeah it has all the other things too exactly um yeah that's that's uh that's pretty tasty um man i'll let you get a little burn from the jalapeno and habanero but then you get the horseradish too so it's yeah heat wise really good. uh i know they say five out of ten i'm kind of thinking this is more like a three three yeah probably a three yeah which is you know yeah I didn't expect it to be hot. Yeah, it's but, it's definitely more of a, a flavor forward than a heat forward sauce. It's just got a little something hanging. All right, this there. is gonna sound crazy. But okay. I know I know what I personally would want to do with this. Okay. You ever made like a tuna salad sandwich? Yeah. Where you just mix up tuna and yeah. like mayonnaise and some other shit. Yeah. Make a sandwich out of it. Okay. I would put this in the mix. Nice. But a lot, like a lot of it. Yeah, know? I can see that. Now thicken it up. It'd be a, a good way to eat it. Yeah, which it's fun. I would. I'd be willing to try that. It's weird that I love pickles, but I don't like relish in my tuna salad sandwich for some reason. Like okay. Um, but I'd be willing to try this. Oh, uh, I got another one. Yeah, hit me. Deviled eggs. I don't like deviled eggs, but, right, but I can see why this would be good. A lot of people put relish or yeah. pickles or something yeah. in the egg mixture. Yep. Boom. Okay. Perfect home for it right there. Nice. Both of those. Maybe, maybe or that just, would... Or just like you said, you know, I'd, maybe eat, that I'd eat it on a broader hot dog. Yeah. But, nice. Um, well, uh, sauce leopard, killer sauce. Uh, guys, uh, hit them up. They yeah. should probably make this... Uh, more of a year-round sauce than a one-off sauce. See, yeah, and when he said it was funky, and I'm in my note, I, I was thinking, okay, like funky, like a lot of people don't like it, or funky, just like weird, like yeah. But to me, it's not that weird. It's not that weird, but you it's know? definitely unique. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah. Big this ups. would be like you know we've tried. I think all of his right, uh, except there, for one maybe. There might be one or two um, we haven't tried, but um, yeah. this would be up there. With my favorites, I would say, of his. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely up there. Um, yeah, big shout out. It's uh, Sean, right? Sean's Sean, the owner. Yeah, yeah Sean <clears throat> at Sauce Leopard. Uh, thanks for making a killer sauce. Um, handwritten note was awesome. Uh, yeah. we appreciate that. And I love that especially because it it's you know not only the he still knows our names. But, <laughs> yeah, but he's a hands on owner. Yeah, you know, for he's gotta, yeah, the fact he's gotta that, be almost mass producing now. The fact that so the fact, he caught the name yeah. and he was the one handling the shipment to and be like, able he to, doesn't yeah, he doesn't have cool. to be dealing with boxes and shit, but yeah, you know, he did, which is fucking awesome. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, uh, thanks again, Sean. Uh, Sauce Leopard, always killing it. One of our favorite Denver sauce companies. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You got anything else to add on this one? Yes, sir. 
All right, guys. Thanks for checking this one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what your favorite sauce, leopard sauce, is. Or if you were lucky enough to get your hands on a bottle of this before they ran out, what are you putting it on? Because uh, we always want to know. Um, but, yeah, thanks for checking this one out. Till next time. Keep up the heat.